Hello everybody, my name is Janvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you people are new over here, then welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to stop translating in the back of your mind. And this has been a highly requested video from so many of you. So here we go. And you know what? It's been a pretty long time since I've spoken or recorded a video in British accent. So here we are. And let's get started. You know what? Before like getting into the video, getting into the tips, I would just like to say one simple thing. And I'd like to ask you guys that when you learned your mother tongue, then how did you learn it? Like, did you learn it through grammar? Did you learn it through translating? Did you learn it through one language to another language? Or did someone teach you that language? How did you learn it? Just ask yourself that question. Okay, done. So the very simple answer of each single one of you is going to be our environment. Our environment had that language. Our parents, our family, our neighborhood, our society, you know, everybody around us was talking in that language. So simply, we got our hands over it. So how can you learn any other language, be it Spanish, be it English, be it Russian, be it any language. So how to stop translating in the back of your mind? Because if you are translating, then it conflicts you so much. Is that whether you're saying stuff out correct, whether you're translating correctly, whether, you know, the language you're basing it on, if there, if the grammar is fine over there, if the grammar is fine in this language, so obviously it confuses you. So how to stop doing that. Let's get started. So point number one is, and I think I've said this so many times now, and I cannot stress this enough, stop using a bilingual dictionary. Stop using a bilingual dictionary. For example, English language, okay? So you people, if you're understanding me, so you already know English language, you already know the basics of English language, even if you cannot speak, you can still understand me, you can understand every single word that I'm saying. So very simply, what I mean to say is that instead of picking up a bilingual dictionary, for example, if you're learning Japanese, so it's going to be like, konnichiwa, it means hello, hajimemashite, it means nice to meet you. So instead of this, if you can just simplify things, for example, there is a huge word, you know, vocabulary and a very big word and you were never familiar with that word, you have not seen it anywhere. So our most natural instinct is going to be to go to a bilingual dictionary and to find out the meaning of that word in your own language or in the language you're comfortable in. So instead of that, you just have to simplify the meaning of that big word in simple words, you know, in basic words. So if there is a big word, simplify the meaning of that big word from a monolingual dictionary. Which brings me to my point number two, is that speak out loud. Now that you know, uh, now that you're aware of big words and different vocabulary, it's very important that you hear yourself speaking because when you're thinking, you cannot really hear yourself. You cannot hear your pronunciation. You cannot, you know, basically hear yourself think, although that is an irony, but still. So what you have to do whenever you're in private, obviously you're not going to talk out loud in public, whatever you're thinking, but when you're in private, then start speaking, start speaking out loud. For example, if you're traveling, so if you're driving by yourself, so start talking about any sort of movements, like the road is so good today, it is very clean and there is no traffic on the road, then start speaking out loud. You should hear yourself. Moving on to point number three. Point number three is start reading comics. I mean, obviously, if you're going to go to ever any Amazon, Flipkart or any other platform where you can buy books from, so you can go over and you can just search and search for comic books. And if you already have some, then it's good. But start reading comics in your the language uh, in the language the language you want to learn basically so if you for example if you want to learn english so take out some english comics what's going to happen you know i told you you learn your language as a baby through observing through listening and through watching different things so when you're reading comics then there are little dialogues and at the same time there are actions there are pictures so the more you're going to observe the more 
influence you're going to become. So whenever you learn something from observing, you start thinking in that language. So when you learn a language through listening more and more, through reading, through observing, through watching, you learn that language more, you become fluent in that language more, and that becomes the base of all of your languages. That basically becomes your natural language. Moving on to next point is thinking. Start thinking. So I told you guys a point which was speaking out loud. So obviously you're going to speak out loud when you are in private, when you're alone. But as for thinking, keep thinking all of the time. Like for example, if you're with people and you're in a you're at a party, so if you're not talking with anybody, then start thinking in the back of your mind, oh, this is a nice dress, that is a nice coat, that is a nice, you know, jumper. So just start thinking, this is a nice party, start thinking in the back of your mind. If you're having your dinner with different people, then start thinking in the back of your mind about the dinner. Oh, this is so delicious, this is very tasty. So start thinking, the more you're going to think in that language, the more fluent you're going to become, the more natural it's going to come to you. Moving on to the last point of this video, and this is the most fun point to follow, start watching your favorite TV shows or like series on your OTT platforms in your chosen language. So if you people like Money Heist and if you want to learn English, then watch Money Heist in English. You can watch it with subtitles if you're not fine with the accent, but then watch it for the second time if you're repeating it, then watch it without subtitles. So whatever movie you really want to watch, whatever series you want to watch, or drama, so start watching all of those movies, dramas and series in your chosen language. And it's not only about series and dramas, it's also about Facebook videos you scroll, it's also about the Instagram reels you scroll, it's also about the YouTube videos you watch. So start watching all of these things in your chosen language. And these are the tips too on how to stop translating in the back of your mind. And also one more thing, if you guys have any other request that you would want me to make a video on that topic, then you can drop your request in the comment section down below and I will make sure that your request will be filled or will be fulfilled and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much guys stay safe bye everyone